Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and this time I'm going to be reviewing the 2021 Volvo XC90. So this is a car I've been really wanting to review, um, and now I'm finally doing it, so that's really cool. So I'm going to start off on the outside. This is easily my favorite uh, XC90. This car looks so good. Um, it has those uh, Volvo lights at the back, the lights that kind of go up along the rear windshield. At the front, it's a very good looking car. It's um, You can recognize right away it's a Volvo, so that's super nice. Overall, this is just a really nice looking car, and uh, yeah, they pretty much nailed it with this design. So before I get on with the rest of the review, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to join my GVRP Discord. The link will be in the description below, um, as always. So here's the startup sound. Hear the revs. So this is not the greatest sounding car on earth, but I mean, it sounds all right. All right, so here are the lights. They are super cool at the front because they light up in one, two, three, four, five. They light up in five spots. So on most cars in Greenville, they just have like one, one spot where it lights up. On this, it lights up in five different spots on each side. So that looks really, really cool. Um, at the back, yeah, super detailed. None of that weird stuff. Like sometimes lights can have like this weird, like reflection look and it, it just looks really bad. So that's really good. So here are the hazards. Very good at the back. Yeah, super good at the front. Actually, just check this out. Yeah, at the front, they are really, really nice. Here's the horn. That's okay. So yeah, for all the exterior features, like the lights and styling, this car is amazing. They pretty much nailed it. All right, so here it is. It's called the 2021 Viking Stockholm. So here we go. So there's the Momentum T5, the R-Design T8 plug-in hybrid, the Inscription T8 plug-in hybrid, the Inscription T6, the R-Design T6, the Momentum T5, oh yeah, that's it. That's the first one. So I went with the R-Design T8 plug-in hybrid because I think it looks better than the Inscription T8. So I went with that. So here are the rim options. They have the six double-spoke matte tech black, the five double-spoke black diamond cut, the, f the six double-spoke sparkling silver, the five-spoke black diamond cut alternative, the six-spoke turbine silver, the five double-spoke matte tech black diamond cut, the six double-spoke silver, which are the ones I went with, the ten-spoke, the five-spoke sparkling silver, and guys, honestly, there's so many more wheel options, like 20 spokes and stuff, so I'm not going to go over all of them. That would take hours. So um, the colors that this car comes in is just pretty much gray and white. So there's savile gray metallic, crystal white, Bright silver, ice white, denim blue, thunder gray, pebble gray, pine gray, birch light metallic, and onyx black. So yeah, this car pretty much just comes in gray, gray, and white, and black. So that's pretty much it. So the trims are all really good. Um, there are tons of wheel options, and I love that. So that's great that it's just, there's so much choice when it comes to the wheels. So uh, now I'm going to go test drive it. By the way, this blue is not a stock color. I went in and painted it, so this is actually one of the base colors, so I don't believe it's it requires the premium paint pass. I just picked blue. All right, so this thing drives pretty nicely. Oh yeah, this thing is really smooth. Brakes are pretty good. So this car has an 8-speed gearbox. I'm not a fan of those, but it's it's pretty good. So yeah, the overall way this car drives is really, really nice. Alright, so here's an acceleration test. So this goes from 0 to 60 in 5.83 seconds. So that is not crazy. I mean, it's not great, but that's all right. This is a city car. It's not a performance SUV in any way. All right, so here's a 0 to 100 test. This might take a while.
Okay, so this goes from 0 to 100 miles an hour in 11.97 uh, seconds. So uh, that's not too great, but then again, this is not a performance SUV in any way. This is a daily driver. So I do like the performance of this car because, I mean, it's not a performance SUV, but it's still like quick enough. It's not slow, so I do like it. So for the handling, this car is actually really, really good for an SUV. Um, no roll in the corners. Yeah, this car overall has a lot of grip. I mean, obviously it's not a supercar around the corners, but yeah, this car has a lot of grip. So the great thing is that this car doesn't handle like an SUV in Greenville. I mean, generally SUVs in Greenville tend to not turn at all, and that's not good. So this thing does handle well. Yeah, this thing has a lot of grip. Look, that's 120 miles an hour around that. Ooh, that was a drift. This is 110. Let's try and slide it. Uh, okay, no. I don't think this car slides, but I, I wouldn't expect it to. All right, so here's a top speed test. Here you go, there's 80. All right, so this thing tops out at 158 miles an hour. Oh, 159. No, it's six at 158. This thing tops out at 158 miles an hour. That is really good. So KPH, that would be 255 kilometers an hour. Yep, that is pretty fast. Or 279 SPS. I think that's a Roblox. I think those are Roblox units. Oh. Oh! Wait, did you guys see that? I did kind of like a drift, and then look at that. Tire marks that go, whoa, guys. I did a drift right through that. Okay, um, that, that was pretty cool. So for daily driving, this car is excellent. Um, the acceleration is not too fast, but it's not slow, so that's good. Um, braking is good. Yeah, lights are very easy to see, so that's good for daily driving. Um, yeah, brakes are good. Acceleration is good. Yeah, this car is just a really, really easy car to daily drive, like an RP servers or something. So for driving around in RP servers, this car is amazing. And honestly, I just drive it all the time because it's just really easy. I mean. There's some cars that are just a bit too fast and can get me into trouble, or they want to slide, or the brakes suck or something, but nothing sucks on this car, so that is really good. So for fuel economy, it's really good. So this is another reason why it's a great RP car. Um, this thing has a range of about 480 miles, I believe, and that is really good for an SUV. So this is the hybrid trim, that's why it has such a great range, and the hybrid trim is also the fastest trim, so that is really nice. So the most economical trim is also the fastest, That's, I like that. So uh, yeah, you won't be filling this car up very often. I mean, if you drive it quickly all the time, maybe, but um, just drive it at normal speed. And yeah, you should get a pretty good range out of this car. All right, so now I'm going to be doing the AEB test. So here we go at 10 miles an hour. All right, so uh, that's really good. But it's 10 miles an hour, so I mean, that's really slow. So here we go at 15 miles an hour. All right, that's pretty good. Here you go at 25 miles an hour. All right, so uh, really good. Here you go at 30 miles an hour. Oh! Wait, it hit it. Um, okay, that's not good. You know, one thing I've noticed is 
on all cars, 30 miles an hour never works for EB. All right, here we go at 40. I don't know, that's really close. Okay, here we go at 55 miles an hour. Okay, I don't know about this AEB system. All right, here goes 60 miles an hour. Okay, um, this AEB system really sucks, I guess. So when it said that nothing is garbage on this car, well, it's kind of wrong. The AEB system is garbage. So uh, yeah, that's the only thing. This car is amazing, apart from the AEB system. The AEB system um, is terrible. So if you're driving this in RP servers, never rely on the AEB system because it doesn't really work. So you'll get in a lot of trouble if you rely on it. So uh, yeah, that was the AEB test. Pretty much a failure. I mean, luckily this isn't real life or else the front of this car would have wouldn't look the same so overall this is a really nice car the styling i mean it's, it's a great looking car the outside features like the lights and turning signals all work and they look really really cool um wheels are cool um the way it drives is really nice it's great for our p servers so yeah it's a great daily driver the only problem is the ab system so this is a great car for rp sessions but um just do not rely on the ab system so uh, yeah, I am genuinely impressed. This is a great car and um, I use it all the time as a daily driver. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to join my GVRP Discord and I'll see you in the next video.